interested in getting Amazon Web Services certifications, please welcome to my video lessons AWS from exam point of view. Here is a one of the key exam topic, easy to instance type and instant families. In last few months, I went through all three AWS associate level certification exam preparation. I have used few leading online exam preparation resources and all of them missing one key exam topic, easy to instant type and instant families. You can expect between three to five questions in every associate level exam from this topic. So here is the brief session about easy to instance type and instant families from exam point of view. What is the instance type? When you launch an EC2 instance using AWS console or command line, you have to specify the instance type which you want to launch. Based on your instance type selection, AWS determines the hardware of the host computer used for your instance. Each type of instance offer different size of compute, memory and storage features and capabilities. Based on these features, these instance types are grouped into different instance families. For an example, if your application needs high compute capabilities and expect an high CPU utilization, you must select one of the instance type from compute optimized instance family. Let's say you are buying a car and wanted it go over rough surfaces or off-road. Also, you want this car to carry five to seven people. What do you do? you probably select one of the SUV family. It could be a Jeep or Honda CRV or BMW X5 because they all belong to SUV family of cars. Now, let's say you are buying a car that you want very comfortable, very high on features and technology with more emphasis on seat comfort and luxury. You probably select one from luxury car family where it could be Audi, Jaguar or BMW. But they all belong to luxury family of cars. Similarly, AWS has different instance families for your application needs. Each instance family consists one or more instance type. In our car example, Audi or Jaguar or BMW similar to instance type under luxury car segment. Under each instance family, still you need to select right instance type based on your application requirement. For example, if you need an instance to play around, you should use T2 Micro or if you want to use it for production, you have to select M4. But both belong to general purpose instance family. When you are using EC2 instances, they might share the underlying host resources and infrastructure. However, CPU, memory and instance storage are decided to each instance and they are not shared between the instances. But network and disk subsystem resources are shared between the instances on the host. When you live in a conjure an apartment, you have to pay for your heating and electric, but share the elevator or landscaping with other tenants, right? Same applicable here. Okay, let's move on and see different instance families and instance types. The five main instance families are general purpose for common usage, compute optimized for better compute performance, memory optimized for memory intensive applications, storage optimized for better input output and disk throughput, GPU for graphics or GPU compute workloads. We will not consider micro is a separate instance family in general. Micro belongs to general purpose instance family. We will be looking each and every instance family in detail after a couple of slides. Also, please note that there are current and previous generation instance type in each family. But from the exam point of view, Focus on the current generation instance type and don't expect any questions from the previous generation. In fact, AWS requesting its client to upgrade their previous generation instances 
to current generation for better performance and support. One more important thing. Each instance type comes in different sizes. Small, medium, large and x-large etc. Like, after you decided to buy a BMW SUV, still you may need to figure out the size. You may have options like X3, X5 or X6. Am I right? Let's see the main factors or capabilities which we should consider before selecting the instance types. The first factor is virtualization type. There are two virtualization types, para virtual, PV, hardware virtual machine, HVM. Each instance type support one or sometime both of them. For example, M3 instance types support both PV and HVM but M4 only support HVM. The virtualization type of the instance determined by the AMI, Amazon machine image that you use to launch the instance. All current generation instance types support HVM and AWS recommends to use HVM for better performance. The main difference between the para virtual and hardware virtual machine are PV and HVM are how they boot and how they use hardware extensions from host. When you use a HVM, it boot faster because it provides the ability to run the operating system directly on top of a virtual machine without any modification. The operating system do not know that it runs on a VM and behaves as it runs on a regular server. HVM based VMs can take advantage of hardware extensions that provide fast access to the underlying hardware on the host system. Without these special hardware extensions, you cannot get features like enhanced networking and GPU processing. Historically, PV had better performance than HVM in the past, but because of the enhancements in HVM virtualization and the availability of PV drivers for HVM, HVM are doing much better now. Both solution architect and SysUp exams expect an exam question about the relationship between the instance type and virtualization support. You can expect a question like what kind of a virtualization does T2 support or can we launch an M4 instance using PV based AMI. We have seen the relationship between the instances and virtualization. Next, let's see how the storage support plays a role in selecting an instance type. The first factor is support of EC2 classic platform. Before VPC introduced by AWS, your instances run in a single flat network that you share with other customers which is a EC2 classic platform. Some instance types are only available in VPC and not in EC2 classic. The second factor is support of instance store volumes. Some instance type support EBS and instance store volumes and others only EBS volumes. The main difference between instance store and EBS is the life of the data which is stored on the particular volume. An EBS volume behaves like a raw, unformatted, external block device that you can attach to a single instance. The volume persists independently from the life of the instance. After EBS volume is attached to an instance, you can use it like any other physical hard drive. You can also detach an EBS volume from one instance and attach to another instance. When your instance get terminated, the data is still available on the EBS volume. It is just like using a thumb drive. On the other hand, instance store is a disk that is physically attached to the host computer. Instance store provides temporary block level storage for the instances. The data on the instance store volume persist only during the life of the associated instance. If you stop or terminate the instance, any data on the instance store will be lost. In both solution architect and sysop, as well as the developer associate exams, expect one or two questions regarding the difference between instance store 
and EBS volumes. Another factor under instant store is to use solid state drive SSD to deliver very high random input output performance. Only few instance type support SSD based instant store volumes. Same way under EBS volumes you can launch some instance type as an EBS optimized instances to get dedicated capacity for EBS input output. This optimization provides the best performance for your EBS volume by minimizing conflict between Amazon EBS input output and other traffic from your instances. For an example, your instances may talk to other instances but using the EBS optimized volume you can prevent that particular conflict or you can provide dedicated capacity for your instance to talk to EBS. Some instance types are EBS optimized by default. You don't have any option. Remember EBS volumes and EBS optimized volumes are different. EBS optimized instances deliver dedicated bandwidth to Amazon EBS with option between 500 megabits per second to 10,000 megabits per second depending on the instance type you select. We have seen the relationship between the instances and storage. Next, now let's see how the network support plays an important role in selecting an instance type. The first network feature is placement group. Placement group is a logical grouping of instances within a single availability zone. Placement groups helps applications to benefit a low latency 10 gigabits per second network communication. Remember again, it's an exam question. If your application requires low network latency, high network throughput or both, you should use placement groups. There are some limitations of placement group. Again, not all instance type support placement groups. The placement group cannot spread across multiple availability zones. Basically, all your instances should be launched in the same availability zone. You cannot move an existing instance to a placement group, but you can launch a new instance and add it to the existing placement group. AWS recommends to use same instance type for all instances in a single placement group. I know I am providing more details on the placement group and it's not the session about the placement group. But remember the above limitations. I saw questions in exam focusing on these limitations. Basically, a placement group cannot spread across multiple availability zones. Let me have a separate session about the placement group. If you are having your exam in next few days and wanted to practice exam questions like a real environment, try our simulator at awspro.academy. Again, it's awspro.academy. You can see all these questions with detailed explanation. The second network feature is enhanced networking. Enhanced networking uses single root input output virtualization to provide high performance special networking capabilities. In general, this special network provide higher bandwidth, higher packet per second, PPS performance and low latencies between instances. If we enable enhanced networking for placement groups, you can get better performance and as well as low latency. If you see any questions in the exam regarding network performance or low latency, immediately think about placement group or enhanced networking. We will see later in this session how instance type support these features including enhanced networking and placement groups. The last network feature is MTU, Network Maximum Transmission Unit. The maximum transmission unit is the largest permitted packet that can be passed over the network connection. It is measured in bytes and generally EC2 instance type support 1500 MTU but many current generation instance type support 9001 MTU or jumbo frames. I don't see this topic in the exam so no worries. That's all for this session. We have reviewed all different storage and networking options or features available under EC2 platform. In the next session, we will review various instance families and types. Also, difference between reserved, on-demand, 
and spot instances and related exam questions. If you like to receive sample exam questions and exam tips, please sign up our newsletter at signup.awspro.academy. Again, signup.awspro.academy. Don't forget to check out other sections of our website where you can find free resources like study guides, video courses, and sample exam simulator. Thank you for your time and hope you enjoy this session. Good luck with your AWS certification exam preparation.